Mr. Abel's family are currently fighting over money. They are currently fighting over the donations from Nigerians, from well-wishers across the world. Mr. Abel is currently in hospital. He has not been discharged yet. If in fact, he's still fighting for his life. He's currently in hospital and his leg was amputated recently. He begged for assistance. Nigeria helped. This is not the first time Mr. Ebu is begging for assistance, and this is not the first time Mr. Ebu family are fighting over donations from Nigerians. This is a man who built this reputation, who built this fame for himself with little or no help from any of his family member, be it his wife or his daughter or his adopted daughter. Little or no help from there, and now this man is sick. Nigeria donated money. You guys are fighting over money again. The last time he was sick, they donated, they fought over money. The woman wanted to buy a car, wanted to change car, wanted to change this, wanted to change that with the money donated by Nigerians. The adopted daughter said it's not possible that we are not going to use that money on for those things. So that is the whole scenario all over again. Say, I don't pray for the third time. Say, if Mr. Ebu come outside again, come beg for assistance. And Nigerians already have it in mind that whenever they donate the remaining money, they will use it to flex, to buy luxury things for themselves. Say, if Nigeria no good donate again, nobody should blame them. Well, according to the news, Mr. Ebu's wife and his adopted daughter are fighting. The wife said, Hello wonderful Nigerians, friends and well-wishers from all over the globe. I want to use this media to appreciate everyone who has contributed to the well-being of my husband. He is responding, with, well, he is responding well with treatment and we believe we shall overcome his health challenge to the glory of God. Recently there has been malicious lies being uh, pad, uh, padded against me on social media. As masterminded by Jasmine Ichoma Ukeke, that is Mr. Abel's uh, adopted daughter, who want to make me an outsider in my own home. But God forbid, this was what she said before. I will address Jasmine's excessive interference in my family affair and other related matters when the time is right. For now, my husband's health is the most important thing. One million donated, one, one million donation they talked about was paid into my account on my husband's instruction. And in his present to upset some bills at the home front, I don't understand why Jasmine, a complete stranger, should be dragging me over my family matter. Jasmine is not a complete stranger. Let's be honest. That girl is not a complete stranger. Adopted daughter of uh, Mr. Ebu. Mr. Ebu recognizes her as a daughter. So do not refer to her as complete stranger because you guys have issues. She is not a complete stranger. <laughs> the second, she said, I do not have access to the main access bank account where people make donations. It's, it is being strictly controlled by Jasmine, yet she is, she is cooking up all kinds of lies and propaganda against me in order to keep absolute control of that account. How she manipulated her way and took control of the account is story for another day. There was never a time I asked anybody to buy a car for me. It was only mentioned in the private discussion between Jasmine and my brother, and she recorded it as a tool for blackmail. It was an innocent subjection to help me cope with the suffering I was going through with public transport while trying to coordinate my hospital schedule with the home challenges. This my brother has been living with all since 2013, long before people like Jasmine even knew my husband. He has been my strongest support and encouragement in these trying times as he willingly helped me with some of the challenges that I cannot cope with. Yet, an, an imposter who knows nothing Jasmine said I took her name to a native doctor. This is very funny. Please, I don't do native doctors or any form of fetish. 
Never, because I serve the living God, in whom I trust always. The people, the person that called Jasmine is actually my husband's cousin in the village, who has also been calling me to know the state of health of his cousins. This is the main, this is the man Jasmine, this is the man Jasmine and her tagged a winch doctor. May God forgive them. Maybe Jasmine is indirectly telling us the kind of thing she does to be able to manipulate people for her own selfish pain. The whole campaign of uh, the whole campaign against me started because I asked for the statement of the assets account when I noticed some uh, funny attitude and movement, especially by Jasmine. I only asked for transparency in the handling of the public donations instead of secrecy, and hell was let loose. Till date, I have no idea about the status of that account. Very strange. But I will revisit this matter when the time is right. For now, I leave Jasmine and her gang to their. Uh, okay. So, guys, let me be completely honest. Firstly, this is not the first time the woman is calling out Jasmine. Later, they'll come outside and say they don't settle. But I'm talking about Mr. Apple, people are donating, and you guys are fatty over money for personal use. For personal use, oh, and you forget Nigerians are saying all those stuff. By the time Mr. Ebu sick again, I'm not praying for that. And he needs help. No Nigeria is coming to his rescue. Oh, I don't know how. I don't know what you guys will think about Nigerians. But let there be transparency now. May just may they show his, uh, the account on how they spend money now. If really you are transparent, show always. Print her account details to show this remaining balance. This is what I've been spent. This is what I've been spent. This woman, that time when Mr. Ebo and this one were having issue, they wanted to change car. And meanwhile, the woman has a car. She likes it. She doesn't have a car. So we already know all those things. But all the same, they have their own family and matter to discuss. But I'm talking about people who are donating. They will soon get tired. They're not going to donate again. And you people will come online again to start begging Nigerians. You have you are quarreling over money. Jasmine, make that transcript transparent. You cannot be spending money and not showing the wife how you are spending money. And if Mr. Abel wake up, get himself, he should make sure all those things are set in place. Should quickly make sure all those things are set in place. Mr. Abel has never denied Jasmine. Mr. Abel, Jasmine is a daughter to Mr. Abel. Is a, a adopted daughter, so they know each other. So she's not a complete stranger. The the, the woman is just hot consigning because of the money matter. Well, Mr. President Tunubu is currently praying for Nigerians and uh, really, really pray for Nigerians. We are going to talk about that, but firstly, check out this video. A wife destroying. A husband television, not even a husband television. Their home television, their home television, destroying their property. I don't want to say the husband property because it's the husband and wife, they own the property. Destroying their property because of an argument. <laughs> Guys, if any woman can destroy, notice them. Notice them while you are dating them. Even as a woman. Notice your man, your boyfriend, why dating him. If he's the kind of person that will destroy the property that he bought based on anger, run away from that person. If a woman destroy properties, destroy maybe you you see that trace in her, run away from her. I don't understand why a woman will be destroying their own property because of anger. Who is going to replace the property? Who is going to replace the property after you are done getting angry and they're getting mad? Who is going to replace it now? You will still be the one to replace it. Wastage, wasting money, no matter the argument, no matter the stuff. Always think about okay, who is going to replace this? How how we are going to save up for this again? There is no need to destroy the property because you are indirectly doing yourself. You are indirectly doing yourself. So why destroy property? There are women with that kind of mind. If you have a girlfriend with that kind of mind, please run away. 
If you are the person watching me now, you have that kind of mind doing stuff. I pray your girlfriend should leave you. And I pray your boyfriend should leave you because you are not good. You are not a good person. And you don't deserve to have any girlfriend or boyfriend if you are destroying properties because of anger. Because destroying property can lead to you carrying something and uh, handing someone's son or daughter's life. So you deserve to be alone. And meanwhile, like I said before, our able president is currently praying seriously for Nigeria. As you, can, as you know, Nigeria needs a lot of prayers. And uh, he's doing just so. <laughs> he's doing just so. Someone wrote it. Yeah, the person said, His Excellency President Tunubu took time off at the end of his official assignment in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, to perform the lesser Hajj earlier today in Mecca. He used the opportunity to pray for Nigeria's greatness and divine guidance for him. Divine guidance from him. Uh, I am grateful to God for his guidance, his blessings, and his answers to my prayers and the country's prayer uh, for good of all. We have to give thanks to him at every opportunity uh, that we may have. The answer is a water prayer did you say for Nigeria? For the country, may our prosperity grow and our humanity kind to each and every one of us. Uh, the prospect of the country is yet to blossom to the level that we require. It needs a hard work and consistent prayer. And we are giving it to uh, our mind and our spirit in every way possible. Our strength is our diversity. And we continue to build on that well, that's the president. Uh, we actually need a lot of prayers. I don't think any nation can do without God. But however, some people still think that uh, we are we are praying too much. Why some countries are out there thinking about the next innovation and this we are busy going to the mosque and being busy going to church. Pray, 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 pray. Even God even told us, you cannot stay in your house and pray for manna. And you don't leave your house to look for manna. You won't get it. You might pray, pray, pray. Hunger kill you there. All the ceiling might fall on top of your head. That, the, 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 those, the, that's the kind of preaching. So if you pray, you go out there and work more harder. Whether you will get it or not, work, work. That's, that is the definition of humans. That is the way, that's the purpose of human. God has already said that we are, we are going to work. He didn't say you are going to Pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. No, now you are going to walk, walk. So make sure you walk so that God will bless your hands. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Catch you next time.